right, this is the Algebra 2 EOC practice test sample question. So it says, which expression is equivalent to x squared plus 2x minus 24 divided by 3x plus 18? Hopefully when you see an expression like this, you think that um, the first thing you need to do is factor. If that's what you think, then that is correct. All right, so if you remember how to factor, we're going to factor the top and we're going to factor the bottom. The bottom has a greatest common factor of 3, and that's the only thing that can be pulled out of the bottom. So let's go ahead and factor that into 3 times x plus 6. 3 times x is 3x, and 3 times 6 is 18. So again, factoring is just a process of rewriting something and kind of breaking it down. All right, so this is a trinomial, so we're going to factor this a little bit different. We're going to factor this into two binomials that, when multiplied together, equals this expression here. So if you remember from factoring, we need something that multiplies to give us x squared. So we're going to have x times x, and we need something that multiplies to give us negative 24, and at the same time, adds to give us plus 2. So what multiplies to give us 24? We got 1 and 24, 2 and 12, 3 and 8, 4 and 6. Well, since we need 2 in the middle, we're going to use 4 and 6. So we're going to have 6 and 1 and 4 and the other. And we know we need a negative 24, so one of these has to be positive and one has to be negative in order to get the negative here. So which one is positive and which one's negative? To add and get a plus, that means the bigger number has to be positive. All right, that means the other one's negative. And you can check this by doing distributive property or some call it FOIL. So x times x is x squared. x times negative 4 is negative 4x plus 6x. So negative 4x plus 6x is our plus 2x. And then 6 times negative 4 is negative 24. So that works out. All right, when we do that, we know that when we're dividing, anything divided by itself will cancel and equal 1. So that means we're left with x minus 4 divided by 3. And that's going to be answer A. So for the sample question, the correct answer is A.